Think you're seeing double? It's true, you really are. This special crystal called calcite is transparent, but sometimes creates two images of the picture behind it. The crystal has properties that control the path of light. This is just one example of how light can be manipulated using transparent materials. Light can travel through anything transparent, whether that's empty space, a piece of glass, or a wiggly block of jello. These transparent materials are examples of media. The speed of light changes depending on the properties of the medium. We can see this most clearly if we look at the surface between two different transparent materials. When I look at this straw in a cup of water, it looks almost like the straw is broken, but this is because the speed of light is slower in the water than it is in the air. At the surface between the water and the air, the light changes direction because of this change in speed. Some special media manipulate light in really specific ways. The crystal we saw earlier is called calcite. It's a naturally occurring crystal and it can split a beam of light into two separate waves, each traveling at a slightly different speed. Because of its microscopic structure, changing the angle of the crystal alters the path of the light and the image that we see. There's even been some evidence that Vikings used calcite crystals to navigate their ships on cloudy days. Photonics is the field dedicated to understanding the behavior of light and finding new ways to manipulate light or send information. Dr. Follin and his research group wanted to understand all the ways that light interacts with unconventional materials, and they want to develop new technology based on those light-matter interactions. Some of the applications of Dr. Follin's research are smaller and more efficient lasers or new types of light sensors. With knowledge about how to manipulate light with materials, we can design even the most creative inventions. For example, lenses are a way to manipulate light with materials. People have been using lenses for hundreds of years and scientists are still finding new types of lenses and other ways to manipulate light. How would you want to manipulate light to solve a problem or invent something new?